Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. A few days ago, the newest part of the RPG mod series by the creators of Better Combat has been released. This mod series, consisting of the Paladins and Priests mod and the Wizards mod, lets you choose between 5 different RPG classes, which have varying abilities and advantages. It is really well thought out, fits perfectly in the vanilla balancing, and what I like most, it is fairly easy to understand and not too complicated like many other RPG mods. So, let's dive in. Let's start with the basic mechanics of this mod. To use the new special abilities called spells, you need to equip one of the five spellbooks. Each spellbook can host the three spells of the book's associated class. To create one of the five spellbooks, put a normal book into the new spellbinding table, and you can choose which spellbook you want to fabricate. To find out the crafting recipe of this table and any other item or block, I recommend for you to install just enough items. If you install the Gazebos mod of the RPG series, you can also find fully stacked spellbinding tables and villages, which will help you to obtain spellbooks early in the game. With this new spellbook, you are not able to cast any spells yet, because you need to bind the spells to the book first. For all spells to be unlocked in the spellbinding table, you need some bookshelves around the block, like with the enchanting table. For the first spell, you need to be level 10, and it will cost 3 levels. For the second one, you will need to be level 20, and it will cost 6 levels. And for the third one, you need to be level 30, and it will cost 9 levels. After you bound one or multiple spells to your spellbook, you can equip it in a new equipment slot in your inventory. Since you can only equip one book at a time, and the book can only contain the spells of the matching class, you can only use the spells of one class at a time. Now that you equipped your book, how can you cast your spells? Spells can be casted by any melee weapon like a sword, or any of the new ones, staffs, claymores, hammers and maces included in the mod. However, I always recommend using the associated wands or weapons to cast the spells of a class, because the associated tool will increase the power of that spell. To use spells, you also need runes as ammunition for every spell you cast. They can be crafted by basic materials like gold, snowballs or coal. Before we take a look at the different classes, note that unlike many other mods when you use spells with this mod, there won't happen anything instantly. You need to charge spells or sometimes channel them, which will be displayed with cool animations, particle effects and sounds. There are cooldown periods and so on. Let's take a look at the different classes. There are three wizard classes. Arcane wizards, which are specialized on dealing single target damage. Fire wizards, which are specialized on dealing area damage and Frost Wizards, which are specialized on combat perks. All of the three wizard classes have their associated wands and staffs. Wands come with a spell built in, regardless of the spellbook you have equipped. They are easier to get, but can only cast that single spell, and are weaker than staffs. There are also two staffs, basic staffs and netherite staffs, which are stronger. With staffs, you can cast all three spells. However, they do not contain any spells in themselves, so you need to equip a spellbook to use them. If you have a spellbook equipped, you can use any staff you want, but as I mentioned before, I recommend to use the staff of the same class as the spellbook, because that way the spells are much stronger, because the staff's spell power only applies to the staff's class. You can switch between the spells by holding the staff, pressing Y or Z, it might be a different key for you by default, and you can change the key in the configs, and then pressing 1, 2 or 3, depending on which spell you want to use. You can also switch between spells by holding left alt, you can change this key in the configs as well, and scrolling with your mouse wheel or pressing 1, 2 or 3. You can increase the spell power of the arcane, fire or frost spells by varying the matching armor pieces. The basic wizard robe pieces give you additional spell power for each wizard class, so it will increase your spell power regardless of the wizard class you are choosing. However, if you want to maximize the strength of the spells of a specific class, you should choose the row pieces matching your class, as they will give you a stronger bonus. Each arcane row piece will increase the arcane spell power by 25% and the spell critical damage by 10%. Each fire row piece will increase the fire spell power by 25 and the spell critical chance by 2%. And each frost row piece will increase the frost spell power by 25 and the spell haste by 3%. Spell haste will increase your casting speed and reduce the cooldown duration of spells. Every wizard armor gives you the same protection as leather armor. The arcane wizard class can cast an arcane missile which shoots a bolt of energy damaging a single target. 
In Arcane Blast, which blasts a single target and grants the Arcane Power effect that increases the Arcane Spell Power by 10% up to 3 stacks. And the Arcane Beam, which channels a beam of energy damaging its targets that will consume Arcane Power. The Fire Wizard class can cast a Fireball, which launches a ball of fire damaging a single target. A Fire Breath, which incinerates targets in front, dealing damage every second and the Meteor, which will crash a Meteor on a target, damaging it and other mobs or players around it in a 6 block radius. The Frost Wizard class can cast a Frost Bolt, which launches a ball of frost, dealing damage and slowing a single target. A Frost Nova, which freezes targets around you for 6 seconds, causing damage and blocking their movement. And a Frost Shield, which will protect you from attacks, projectiles and fire for 8 seconds, but which will also slow your movement. As explained, the damage of each spell depends on the spell itself and the armor you are wearing, as well as the tool with which you are casting the spell. There are also new wizard merchants in villages selling magic equipment, which are spawning in new village buildings with some chests with loot. Let's move on to the two other classes, Paladins and Priests. Multiple new weapons have been added for the Paladin class. There are new claimer weapons from stone to netherite here, which deal a lot of damage, while having a slow attack speed. The Great Hammers are available from Wooden to Netherite here, and they deal even more damage while having an even slower attack speed. The Mace Weapons are available from Iron to Netherite here, and they are a bit faster than Claymore Weapons, but also deal less damage. All of these three weapon types can cast spells of course, but don't have any additional spell power, so they are as effective as a normal Minecraft sword when it comes to casting spells. And that way, the vanilla swords don't become obsolete when playing with this mod series, as you can use normal swords as a paladin as well. Paladins can basically freely choose which melee weapon they want to use. Furthermore, there are new wands and staffs for the priest class. As with the wizards, wands are easier to get, come with a spell built in, regardless of the spellbook you have equipped, but they can cast only that single spell, and are weaker than staffs. The basic staff and stronger netherite staff can cast all three priest spells. However, to use them, you have to equip the holy book, so the priest spellbook, because the staffs don't have any spells directly bound to them. The Paladin and Crusader armor sets for the Paladin class will increase your healing power, but the Crusader armor is stronger than the Paladin armor. The Priest and Prior armor are for the Priest class and will increase your healing power as well. The Prior armor is a higher tier and better than the Priest armor, as it will give you spell haste and more healing power. So both the Paladin class armor sets and the Priest class armor sets give you healing spell power. However, the Paladin class armor will give you more protection and the Priest class armor will give you more healing power, because the Paladins are meant to fight in the front line, while the Priests are a support class. The Paladin class can cast a Flash Heal spell, which heals you or friendly target by a few health points, a Divine Protection spell, which reduces all forms of damage taken by 50% for a duration of 8 seconds, and a Judgment spell, which will strike your targets and enemies around it within 6 blocks, causing damage to them and stunning them for 3 seconds. The Priest class can cast a Holy Shock spell, which heals you or friendly target by a few health points, or smites an enemy dealing spell damage. A Holy Light spell, which will channel a beam of light healing friends by a few health points and dealing constant spell damage to opponents, and a Circle of Healing, which heals you and friendly targets around you by a few health points, and applies some absorption for 4 seconds. As I already mentioned before, the damage or heal effect of each spell depends on the spell itself and the armor you are wearing, as well as the tool with which you are casting the spell. If you are trying to decide which class to choose, note that the damage of spells bypasses the armor. So even though a specific spell might only deal seemingly low damage, it might actually be quite a strong weapon against someone wearing high tier armor. There are also new monks in villages selling equipment for paladins and priests, which are spawning in new cool looking village sanctuaries. Let's take a quick look at the enchantments. The spell power enchantment will increase the spell damage and heal, like sharpness does for swords, and it can be applied to weapons. Spell volatility increases the critical strike chances of a spell, and can be applied to armor. The amplify spell armor enchantment increases the critical strike damage. The Sunfire Armor Enchantment increases Arcane and Fire Spell damage. The Soul Frost Armor Enchantment increases Soul and Frost Spell damage. The Energize Armor Enchantment increases Heal and Lightning Spell damage. The Spell Infinity Enchantment lets you cast spells without using runes, like with the Infinity Enchantment for bows. The Magic Protection Armor Enchantment reduces the spell damage taken, like a Projectile Protection Enchantment does for projectiles. You can enchant your gear using an enchanting table or an anvil with enchanted books. 
The mod can be played in single player of course, but it is especially great in multiplayer, because the classes are designed to complement each other in dungeon fighting scenarios. If you are playing this mod in multiplayer mode, you should be aware of the following features. By default, you can damage other players with spells, but you won't hit each other with area damaging spells, like the judgment spell. So you are able to use these spells safely in a fight. However, if you intend to use these spells on other players while for example fighting a different team of players, you can deactivate that mechanic by putting each other into different teams. That way, you can hurt the players of the other team with any spell. If you don't know what the vanilla Minecraft team mechanic is, you can create a team with slash team add and writing a name, assign members to a team by slash team join and the name of the team and the name of the member who you want to join the team, and you can list the teams on the server by slash team list. You are also able to let the player leave a team by slash team leave and the name of the member. There are further commands you can use, but these are the basic necessary ones. A more detailed guide is linked in the description. Villagers are also protected from area impacts and can be healed by spells. You can configure these features as you want. The mod also has a compatibility with the Better Nether and Better End mod, because installing these mods will add a new tier of weapons for all classes. The mod has a really high quality and is well thought out. The different spells have varying great charging, targeting or impact mechanics and animations, are easy to understand and use. There are also amazing textures, 3D models and sounds for the equipment. As you progress while playing the mod, your abilities will get stronger, but they are still balanced for a vanilla gameplay. All in all, it is a really well made mod in every aspect you can think of. And it can be used in any type of mod pack or type of playing style, whether you just want to use it in single player, fight some bosses with your friends on a server, or fight other groups of players in large battles. If you want to, you can even create your own classes and spells for your own mod pack. The developers plan to keep on adding more classes in the future and to add supporting content for other mods like Twilight Forest or Bumble Zone. And yeah, that's it for the showcase. This video really took some effort to make and I especially want to thank the members of the community who helped me to film the multiplayer fights for this video. So feel free to join our Discord server to get in contact with other players in the community. Link is in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss any further reviews, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.